To this, a very special reggae takeover show here on Seclo Sounds, the Wednesday, the 20th of August, 2014. For the next two hours, I'll be delivering you music and interviews from this year's One Love Festival here in Milton Keynes. Firstly, I'd just like to send out a personal thanks and blessings to all that I met over the festival uh, over such a wicked weekend. Uh, yes, yes, unlike other stations that were there, not to mention, I was counting there all weekend to give you, um, my listeners, the ultimate coverage. Um, so I just hope for the next two hours that I'll do all my hard work justice. Okay, so coming up on tonight's show, we're going to have uh, music and interviews from the Majestic, Dubweiser, The Royal Sounds, Mystic Crew, DJ Vadim and Governor Tiggy. We've got Narius Joseph, Randy Valentine, Bunny Lee, Michael Prophet, The Wailing Souls, and Cornell Campbell. Okay, so let's start with an update on Sir John Holt. So as you may know, Sir John Holt, uh, while on stage Saturday uh, night, he stumbled and became very ill. Uh, Sir John Holt was not feeling the best prior to the show, but didn't really want to let the fans down. So so he continued with that performance. Um, Sir John's family were in contact early Sunday uh, to let us know that John was feeling much better and was on the mend. Um, I know me personally, I felt numb uh, that evening after witnessing the incident. Um, and that was echoed by people that I spoke to um, going back to the tents on the Saturday night and people first thing Sunday morning as well. Don't forget you can get in contact with me. Let me know where you're logged in from um, on the Twitter, which is at Darren Hoy. So D-A-R-R-E-N-H-O-Y at Darren Hoy. You can also contact me on the email. It's Darren at SeclosSounds.org. Darren at SeclosSounds.org. And don't forget, replays of each and every show go up on the Mixcloud on the Saturday morning, and that's www.mixcloud.com forward slash DJ Darren Hoy. Okay, so John Holt is in our minds, and the first tune is going to be from John Holt. I know it was his next one that he was going to be playing. So my thoughts and eternal blessings are with you, Sir John Holt. This one, John Holt, help me make it through the night. Take the ribbon from your hair Shake it loose and let it fall Lay it soft upon my skin Like the shadows on the wall Come and lay down by my side Yeah. 
yesterday's day and gone And tomorrow is out to sight And it's sad to be So I'm joined backstage now of the Saxon Tent with uh, the man himself, Bunny Striker Lee. He's just had a, a premiere of his film, I Am Gorgon, um, and there we go. So here we go, here's Bunny. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're listening, you know. Respect. Um, so I Am Gorgon is the film. Uh, when's it due out? It's go out sometime in November, I think. November. Uh, okay, because I know there were some rushed copies that were, were played at last year's One Love Festival. Yeah. Um, but this year, obviously, people have just sat down through the full show. Yeah. And people's memories f- and feelings come yeah. flooding back when they were watching it. It was absolutely superb. Yeah, that, that, that book, you know, it, it, it's, it tells you the truth about plenty of people in the business and how the business is. And, you know, because people tell a lot, lot of fibs, probably have great stories but this film is authentic most of the time the real people that is alive who is not alive we talk about them and things like Roy Shirley and you know keeping, so it, keeping it real and the facts yes, keeping them the straight basic like, facts yeah, yeah. as I mentioned before before we hit the record button um, I normally ask people what their inspirations are but you're the inspiration to many <laughs> many people around the world it's unbelievable um, so who are you listening to at the moment who, who, who do you sit back and relax to in the world of music well I listen to a lot of people in music you know both Jamaican and I, I, I used to listen to Maria Lanza, he's dead now, and a great Jamaican talent named Jimmy Tucker. Yeah, yeah. He was a tenor. I listen to a lot of music. Slim Smith, Dennis Brown Alton, John Holt, you know. It's numberless, too numerous to mention. We could be here all day, <laughs> you know? yeah. And they're all the tunes that we play on yes. the show as well, so it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so have you have any more plans for any more films after this one or any follow ups to it? Well, we're supposed to be looking about the uh, thing about the late great King Toby's life, you know? Yeah. Because only Jammies and myself can give our take story about the great King Tobias and you have scientists and you have a professor, he named the mad crazy professor, he lives in America well we lost Philip Smart last year, he was part of it too but unfortunately he died and a few other guys you know that Carlton Pattison he did the first tune Psalms of Love and Glenn um, Brown so, I say, I want to record those people that the issue go on and tell how the dub thing and everything come about. Put it down in the records. Yeah, we do a part of it in, in my story, but the basic thing about dub, you know, the King Toby story, we'll have more about that. Okay. You know? Superb. Okay. And it have, uh, how the rhythm started with 
pure rhythm person. A mistake make a joke read through there, you know, with Roddy from Spanish Town. And him, Smith, the engineer at Joke Shoot was going to stop it. Smithy was going to stop him. Say, no, Smithy, make it run. And after the rhythm play, him said, put on the vocal. And building the tunes. Yeah, when him got to Spanish Town and play the night, his sound was a big sound in a Spanish Town. Spanish Town is a the the capital of St. Catherine and him used to roll down him man, believe me. <laughs> when him play the the singing and say no I pay part two the people them start sing along. I think it was a general tune them sad sad I mean sad news. Sad news yeah. And everybody it's so I said, Toby's going to go up and start the joke business, you know, up in a joke studio, and we start reaching a little clever way, which the film, my film, tell you, you know, yeah. and the rest is history. Fantastic. Well, yeah. I say, you, you are there, you're there as a legend in, yeah. in the world of reggae music, and thank you for your time uh, this, afternoon here, this afternoon here at uh, One Love Festival. It's been an absolute pleasure, and Any salute time. to you, sir. Any sir, time. Bunny Striker. Thank you very much. No problem. Yes. Sad news. Read all about it. I heard about the sad thing that happened last night. And it brings out sorrow and pain from deep inside Yes, it's sad, it's sad The news I heard 
Florida all the way up from San Diego, California. You're locked into the sounds of my DJ Darren Hoy live on Seclo Sounds with a reggae takeover from 9 to 11 p.m. each and every Wednesday night. Keep it locked. Yeah! Yes, yes, this one, The Wailing Souls. In a moment, there's a, a nice interview with them as well. They were mightily up, not happy, I should say, keeping it clean, with their performance being cut, and you'll find out why. Forget you are tuned in to Seclo Sounds, the reggae takeover on the Wednesday, the 20th of August. Um, don't forget, this is the One Love Festival special. Yeah, so coming up at the end of this tune, we have the fantastic interview with the Wailing Songs. For people that were there, they'll know they were cut off early for reasons, and this is why. Yes, I am Winston Pipe Matthews. They call me Pipe. And I am Brett McDonald. And we, we are, are the Wailing, Wailing Souls. Superb. Okay, normally I ask the kind of the artists that come on who their inspirations are. Firstly, I'll start off, you guys are my inspiration, okay? Many, many years ago, I listened to your tunes. That's what got me into reggae. And now I'm producing one of the kind of the, the nicest reggae shows around at the moment. So I would like to thank you for that, first of all. All right, okay. my brother. My brother. Okay, lovely. Um, so you're at the One Love Festival. Obviously, that didn't go, quite go to play and cut off. Uh, unbelievable. I, I, I don't know what to say from that point of view, but... Uh, well, well you know, we can't tell you what happened. That guy was... Um, a, a con- our contract, we are supposed to get paid an hour before we go on stage. So our tour manager was with him trying to get our money before we go on stage. So he came, not even him, the guy who was the MC came and said, 25 minutes gone out of our time. We were supposed to perform for an hour and 10 minutes, right? So, I mean, you know, we had 17 songs lined up for the people and we only sang about four songs. And he came, if you how mad he was when he came on stage. Right, he was pissed because we stood up for our rights. Absolutely, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that, that's that's the long and short of it. Okay. And he, 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 he only make the people lose, the, the people lost. Yeah, because the people want more. Did you hear they were crying? Absolutely, I was one of them. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, was there. I was waiting for one of my favourite songs of all time is Mr. Bigmore, yeah, and I thought you was that. Try, t- please, get warmed up, man. P- p- please tell me one of them 17 wasn't Mr. Bigmore you were going to do. Yeah, well, Things and oh. Time was the number one song in Jamaica in 1977, you know, and. It's like after that we have it's after it's like five, six hits straight back to back. We have Jaja Give Us Life to Live, 
old broom, sweet, sweet sugar plum plum, you know, and a lot more hits, you know, from yeah, that. Very well that we started and he cut us a firehouse rock. That same song you mentioned, it's a bit more. You know, I, I say mean, my favourite. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, well, for my listeners, Seclos, I will play the songs that you've just mentioned, okay? So you're going to get airtime. So if they're tuning to me, I'll make sure they finish the set virtually. Yeah. Okay, you can do it in person, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Obviously, you are legends within the, the world of reggae. You've been around the yeah, world and all yeah, that kind of stuff. we helped to farm this year, but it's music, obviously, you know what I mean? Because, you know, everybody knows we grew up in Trench Town alongside people like Delroy Wilson, Alton Ellis, Bob Joe Marley. Higgs, yeah, the Whalers, you know, Bob Peter Bunny. You know, so just to say those names, they are, you know, the foundation of the reggae business. You know what I mean? And we, as the younger guys out of all of those guys, you know, we came up through the same kind of ranks. Joe Higgs as our tutor. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, you know. Okay, so what's on the home stereo of you guys when you're at home and you want to kind of relax? What are you listening to at the moment? Well, most of the time, you know, I, I just listen and write music. I just play my guitar and write music, you know, because we always think positively, you know. So I don't really listen back to my songs. Um, I try to create new ideas and come up with new things for the people because our work is for the people, you know. We have thousands of fans out there all over the world. Oh, and millions. It's like, okay, okay. Yeah, man, yeah, man. You know, well, personally, I just listen to... Whatever is playing, you know, because I like to keep a track of what's going on out there. But the main focus for me is to be always writing new products. Because right now, we're getting ready for our 27th album, which we hope will be out by the end of this year or early next we year. We were trying to finish it so well we could take it to London with us, but um, our musical director is away. Okay. You know, so he's not going to be around until November. So we are trying to finish it and put it out next year. Okay, well, when it's out, I'll definitely play that because I say you're yeah, absolutely yeah, legends for me. That's going to be the 27th, and as you know, we have three Grammy nominations already. Absolutely, Hopefully, yeah. this one is going to give us our first and Grammy win. He's the only you artist from I mean? Jamaica so, have the most songs in movies. Yes, facts. Yes. Facts. End of dot. Yes, facts. facts <laughs> that, you know what I mean? We can have Bernie, Dominican Eugene, Titan AE, Dear John, Molly, Not Sure. Going to extreme, you know, don't forget and, runnings. animals and, and the cool runnings movie, you know, which we have um, yeah, yeah, like yeah. three songs yeah, yeah. And, yeah, the, and, and the soundtrack. That's like what, three I've got a, a daughter who's five, and we watched that film only a few months ago, and that's one of her favorite songs of all time. Absolutely, she sits down and she sings along to that one, so that's okay. fantastic. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, well, thank you for spending your time. Obviously, it's not the, the best circus out there, but I will make sure and paint the world okay, of the Wailing Souls. It's our respect, you know, because we like to meet people like you. You, you know, Lovely. who's letting the people them know what's happening, just like how we go on the stage and we perform to the people, let them enjoy themselves and know that there's hope. Never give up. Because the moment you give up, that's when you are gaining. You know, so we would like to say yeah, respect to respect all, to all you know? the fans of the Wailing Souls and the people here tonight. We are really sorry about what really take place, but it's not our fault. You know, it's a, it's a promoter's fault. And we would hope that the next time we come, we will be able to play all the songs that we have to play. Because when we are in America, in the United States, we play like 25 songs every night. Okay, I fully understand that. And as I say, in a moment we're going to end an interview, and my listeners are now going to hear a melody of Wailing Soul tracks. Okay, yeah. Okay, salute, sir. Respect. Definitely, Darren. Respect. And my blessing go to you continually, yes, sir. Thank you. That you may continually play the songs um, and do the good work of I the will Almighty. Do. No problem. Yes, man. Yeah, Respect. Yeah. Salute. Okay, Secular Sound listeners, that was the Wailing Souls. What a fantastic interview. And there'll be more tunes of Wailing Souls coming right up. <laughs> Yes, yes, as I said, what an interview. The legends, the pioneers that were the Wailing Souls. The, so, souls. This one, the one they missed out of the 17. My favourite, Mr. Big Moore. Come on, everyone, sing it! I am 
Yes, yes, so this is the Reggae Takeover. As always, try and uh, keep me in contact of where you are. Um, happy birthday to Millie, who is five today. So blessings to Millie there. Happy birthday. I hope you're enjoying your uh, day. Also, Sam Edmonds and uh, Barry Greenin. They're locked in from New York City. Salutes to you. Unfortunately, they say they were unable to make it across for the One Love Festival, but are looking to make it next year. Happy days. Don't forget you can get in contact with me on the Twitter at Darren Hoy. So at Darren Hoy on the Twitter. On the email it's Darren at Seclosounds.org. That's Darren at Seclosounds.org. I'm just gutted the uh, Wailing Souls didn't get to do this live for me. Been waiting all my life to see them do that live and they got cut short. Unbelievable. Bringing people and communities together on seclosounds.org. Yes, yes. This man, the cool of the reggae world, chilling backstage. This one, Michael Prophet and Gunman. Sing it! I wake up in the morning, what do I see? Gunmen standing over me with their guns and their babies. Me cry, oh, oh, people are going to feel it. Me shout, oh, oh, we all are revealing it. the city of my life, feel it open my eyes that I can see what is over me, it was the city of my life, feel it open my eyes and save me, we from gunmen standing over me with their guns and their bayonets, me cry oh oh people are like gonna feel it, me shout oh oh to the Allah reveal it, boy, boy, boy.
it was the savior of my life. Really open so that I can see what is over me. It was the savior of my life. Really open and save me. Who Lord from one man standing over me with their guns and their vain it. Me cry, oh, oh, people are like gonna feel it. Me shout, oh, oh, we are not like revealed. Hey, hey, boy. Boy, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Because the world is kind of they don't know what to do. Listen to me what I say to you. The people is honest, they don't know who to choose. Even if they listen to the headline news, it's gunmen standing over me with their guns and their babies. They cry, oh, oh, people are gonna feel it. They shout, oh, oh, we all are revealed. stage here at the One Love Festival and I'm uh, joined by the legend I'm weak at the knees saying it the legend that is Sir Michael Prophet how are you sir? I'm good 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 so you're here at the One Love Festival how's the vibes how's it going? yeah vibes vibes is good vibes is clear you know a bit chilly a bit. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's chilly the wind is uh, howling uh, it's I've picking mentioned it. up it's picking up <laughs> yeah, yeah. as long as the rain stays away we'll yeah, be alright and all that kind of stuff okay um, so what are you looking forward to tonight? well I'm um, Looking forward for the rotical vibes, you know, and uh, see what I can do to um, please my fans out there and thing, you know, do my bit. I know there's loads of fans out there. Your name's been mentioned uh, in many of the places out there, so that wow. should be a good, 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 good vibes. Wow, wow, wow! Thanks for that. Yeah, man. So. Okay. Are we anything special for the One Love uh, fans out there? We're we gonna get hit with the roots. Or? Yep. Yep. I'm here with the roots <laughs> <laughs> because Keep, I'm the roots. That's it. You are. That is it. Yeah, you man. are the roots. Keeping the roots vibe alive. Yeah. What about your personal inspirations? Who inspires you to do what you do? Well, well, inspiration. The inspiration was born within. But when you see when you see another man with that inspiration, that you know, Babandi. Babandi is my like. Yep. Yep. Button. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. And what about when you're at home and you're relaxing? What are you listening to at the moment? Who, any any new artists that you've uh, have caught the eye of the legend that is yourself? Um, quite a few. You got you got to look a young one where I come up with. When me and um, uh, shame, but uh, what's his name again? Chronix. Chronix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chronix. Yeah, yeah. But he, he's, he's all right. You know, I like I love his flavour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people have been saying that. This weekend when I've been speaking to people, I've mentioned that people that are listening to him. Chronix is up there. People are listening yeah, to him. Yeah. He's a definite legend of the future. Yeah, man. He's coming. He's, he's upcoming artist. And he's doing, he's, doing, he's doing good so far. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Anything in the, uh, the pipeline for the future? Any more releases coming up? Of course. Of course. I'm just, I'm just in the back line right now, you know. 
soaking up, soaking yeah, up, soaking up. <laughs> Yeah, when I'm ready to let off, mate, you will know. Fantastic. Our guns blazing. Good, good, good. Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully the uh, the crowd here at the One Love Festival later on yeah. are going to enjoy the legend that is Michael Prophet. Salute, yeah. sir. Nice to meet you. Nice. Bless up. Yes, yes. Well, as you mentioned there, Michael Prophet, you like a bit of Bob Andy. So uh, who am I to disappoint? And as you said... Bob Andy is my life. Where's my singing crew? Joseph, um, a British reggae artist, started from the days of fashion records with Smiley Culture, Asha Senator, and those kind of people. And I now, you know, advanced all the way to from fashion records to people like Jetstar, uh, Mafia and Flux, um, Gossip P record label, Saxon, just to mention a few. Legends, legends in the game, as they say, and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, we're behind the, the main stage at the moment. Uh, Randy Valentine's on there at the moment. You're up a bit later on. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, man, absolutely. Seven o'clock. I'm kind of chuffed that they put me on uh, the main billing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, good. And that's respect to yourself and salutes to yourself. You can have a, a good crowd out there. I say the vibrations of the whole week, weekend's been absolutely fantastic. Um, so, your inspirations for your music, where does that come from? What are you kind of listening to at the moment yourself? Well, the, 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 the inspiration that led me to like music, because I've been in music for quite a few years now, so people like Dennis Brown, Freddie McGregor, Culture, Gregory Isaacs, you know what I'm saying? Um, those guys kind of shaped the, 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 the way I listen to music. I was born in St. Lucia, and when I came to England, I think one of my main escapes from just being in this cold place was the music, and I was fortunate enough to have this cousin, Olive, that um, really knew I was keen on music and she kept on bringing these albums for birthday, Christmas and then any occasion that she could find to buy me a, a record and that was where my inspiration came from. My father had this old gram record and yeah, yeah. you know because of my vibes for music I, you know, none of the rest of the family was allowed into the front room but because of my vibe for music I was allowed in there cleaning the gram, changing the needle 
And I had my own selection as well, which was better than my father's yeah, yeah, yeah. to an extent <laughs> when it came to the roots. So, you know, it was a big inspiration, yeah. Fantastic. You mentioned St. Lucia there. That's a place in my heart. My honeymoon was there. I've been there back a couple of times as well. Sufri is the pitons. Love it. Absolutely heart in the warmth in the heart. Of that one. That's what I call home. Home, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so you are playing late. Obviously, some big people on the air. Have you been here all weekend? No, we just we just come. We, we had the option of coming, but um, we were actually rehearsing a few days ago for this. So we felt it better to just keep rehearsing and, uh, you know. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we're going to play obviously some of your tracks in a moment, so people are going to hear the pure kind of vibration and sound that you've got to offer. Um, where can people get in contact with you and learn a bit more about yourself? Um, you can um, get in contact with me on Nereus Shows in Facebook, um, Twitter, um, Nereus Shows in Facebook, N E R E U S Joseph. You can link me on the Facebook anytime. I've got an artist fan page, I've got my own page. Um, you can link my, my management, Ami Jagdiv on Facebook and all the information is on there. Okay, so people of Seclo Sounds, get out there, listen, and the track's coming up right now. When them two they play people then for run and dance and ball up, boy, just tell them one thing. Yes, yes. So this one is the root call sounds of Nereus Joseph. This one's called This Ghetto and it's off the album Yes Soul Me Dare. keep your head up. Don't let them get you down Don't be a victim of this set A wicked and a devilish plan To stop the youth from growing So never turn into a man Cause bullets always spreading Spreading They'll try to get us in the way they can And if it wasn't for my love of Jack That keeps me safe and keeps me from all harm Surely try to take away my soul And I can't take this ghetto no more Let the chains break and fall to the floor And I can't take this ghetto no more Said I can't take it No, no don't get weary For the battle now is nearly done The father put a stop to How they killed my brothers just for fun Way down in Babylon They hide the evil works that they have done The father see you know them, know them See how they run, yeah it wasn't for my love of Jah that keeps me safe and keeps me from all harm. The wicked would have surely tried to take away my soul, and I can't take this ghetto no more. Let the chains break and fall to the floor. So I can't take this ghetto no more. Yes, yes, Seclo Sounds listener, the reggae takeover, no. warm and easy vibes. Get taken, get taken. Yes, yes, absolutely loving this tune. Moving, moving. Gotta be my home now. My, 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 my. That keeps me safe and keeps me from all harm The wicked would have surely tried To take away my soul Cause I can't take this ghetto no more Let the chains break and fall to the floor Cause I can't take this ghetto no more Said I can't take it no, no, no. I can't say. My God! My God! 
Yes, yes. Played this a couple of weeks ago. It's time for another outing. Obviously, the headliner on the uh, Sunday, Cornell Campbell. Interview coming up. And this one, Judge, I'll go beat them. Stage now on the main stage on the Sunday, the headliner act was Cornell, or the legend that is Cornell Campbell. How was that for you, sir? Fantastic, you know, very beautiful. I'm glad to be here to please the whole of the people them, and them appreciate me through the power of the Almighty Jehovah God. Everything was right and I enjoyed it. Fantastic. I say the show out there was awesome. I say people started to grow the big sound clashes across the road, but the crowd was there wanting all that is the legend Cornell Campbell. Fantastic. Um, so obviously yourself, you, you, your music is, is it moves. It kind of takes on the the kind of the, the real powerful meanings. Where does that inspiration come from? As I said before, Joe, I got. I'm inspired by a force. I just write my song them out of no nothing. Just other people' life and things, you know. It does come to me natural. It's not something hard for me to do. Natural. It's natural. just natural, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so what about the future? You played a, a couple of tracks there from a, a new album. Yes, Is that it's your... an album we did. Um, me and the Sootsiers. Colonel came to meet the Sootsiers band. And uh, it, 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 it really selling and going good. And we're planning on a new album now as well. But right now we're promoting this album, you know. So, I mean, if you notice when I do a show, I always feature the album to make things, you know, make the yeah. people... Um, get accustomed to the album so I mean they can you know get it because I've really really good album yeah it was fresh fresh sounds yeah. positive sounds as well yes. so it's fantastic obviously I saw you here earlier and you was, you shouted out as well obviously Bunny Lee and all that kind of stuff so you're looking to work with him and, and do some stuff in the future no no I'm not working but I mean of course you can live good with, with people I mean he's a, he was one of my producer yeah and so I uh, respect people you know um, he's a he's still a legend yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and I, I call you a legend as well. Yes, you're a legend. I know, I know. Pure we're, legends. No, all legends. No, we're our legends. Yeah, absolutely. So we have no bad vibes against one another in a sense that uh, what we just leave all uh, negative things behind and just move forward. And that's, and that's what it should be like. That's what One Love Festival is about, yeah. about kind of pushing people together and all that kind of stuff. Of course. Are you touring anywhere else in Europe or around the world? Well, after I leave here, now, I'll be in Canada next week to do... Um, Rastafest, and then I go back to Jamaica. Okay, yeah. Back home to the warm. Right, right. It's really cold here in the evening and all that kind of stuff. So, yes, yes. Well, once again, thank you for taking your time. I know you're going across to the Sound Clash now as well to, to hit some rhythms over I, there as I'm well. I'm going to take a look. 
This okay, is what's going no, on. Yeah, have a little look. You have to listen and get idea for yourself. You learn from other people. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, thank you very much. Of course. Okay, the legend that is Cornell Campbell. Thank Salutes. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Cornell, we roll. roll. Yes, yes, so it'd be rude not to play yet another Connell Campbell tune. And this one, one of my personal favourites, I Will Never Let You Sing It! Stage, and I'm joined now by Majestic. These are the saviors of the uh, One Love Festival main stage. They were playing on another stage, and I saw them hot footing it across the field because um, Randy Valentine, who's now here, uh, was stuck in traffic. So Majestic came on and absolutely tore up the main stage. I say for a second uh, performance in a row, there was pure energy and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go around the couple of members of the band that I've got here just to introduce yourself, tell my listeners who you are. I'm Fido Ass, I'm the vocalist. I'm Tony Ali and I'm the bass guitarist. I'm the Magalayan, I play guitar and I do some backing vocals as well. Fantastic. I say. Emetarians. Emetarians. <laughs> I'm the Emetarians. <laughs> okay, so I say I saw you from the main stage. I saw you hot footing it across, uh, knowing the incident with obviously Randy uh, caught in uh, traffic and stuff like that. And it was just pure energy. I had to turn around. I was, I was due to go over to the Saxon tent uh, to speak to Bunny Lee for his film. And I turned straight back round and came straight back here because it was positive vibration from, from key one. Drum note number one, I had to turn around and come back. It was absolutely fantastic. So where does your inspirations come from when you're on there? Talking of drum note. That's our drummer. This is our drummer here. Okay, your drummer. Yes, hi, hi. And you are? Sam. Sam. Okay, we've got Sam the drummer that's just joined us as well. So so where does your inspirations come from for the for your sound that you produce? From the vibes of the people that's gone before us. Okay. Like Bob. Um 
all the old whalers, um, a few of the new people, um, but mostly from ourselves. Yeah, really, I was going to say, a few, a few of the vibes from ourselves. I'd like to introduce our lead guitarist who's just come. OK, lead guitarist, and you are? Hello, I'm Russell. How do you do? Russell. <laughs> Russell, lifting the spirit. There we go. OK, cool. OK, we're just talking about the vibrations and the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's like an inner feel. It's an inner feel. It's a vibe that we get no matter what goes on before we get on the stage. Once we're on that stage, it's, a, it's just a different vibe. It's hard to explain. It's there. It's always there. I was going to say, it's pure energy from you. From For the second uh, game or match, whatever you want to call it, on the you, you were in extra time and you were still <laughs> bouncing around that main stage. As much as I was bouncing around, I'm going to feel it tonight, believe me. <laughs> We've got rubber on the bottom of our shoes. <laughs> we're all going to feel it after this weekend. It's been, a, it's been a true one for the knees and all that kind of stuff. OK, so when you're at home, what, what are you listening to on the stereo? Who are you listening to at the moment? Majestic, mostly. Majestic. Apart from Majestic. I've got the CD now in my hand, so you will be hearing a Majestic tune coming up straight after this interview. So, Apart from the Majestic, we're very happy to have Fell from the Emetarians, who are a very big Spanish band. Right, let's play, up, let's play. Play. Yeah, you can check us out on the web as well, Emeterians, on Facebook and everything, you know. So, yeah, we, as well, we listen to Majestics, Majestics listens to Emeterians. Big family. Yeah. We listen to big family. reggae artists such as Bob, Abyssinians, Bob Marley, of course, Whalers, Mighty Diamonds, Twinkle Brothers, you know, and then we got the new inspiration from people like Chronix, Prodigy, Janine, you know, it's... So it's a pure international link-up when it comes to the stage for Majestic. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, as I say, absolutely fantastic out there. You've got the crowd going. Uh, the guys that were on before, kind of, there was a bit of a bigger gap between as well, which sometimes doesn't help. Um, but as soon as you came on, heads were turned. And I say, I was halfway across the field towards the Saxon tent, and people from the dub shack were all turning around, and hence the, the crowd that you had at the end. So respect and salutes for you. Okay, respect. The sound is always majestic. So we always try and represent. You know? Okay, feel. <laughs> okay, so that was the Majestic here on Seclo Sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So as I mentioned, I am going to play now a tune from the Majestic. It comes from the album Unequivocal Love. Well, yeah, well, yeah. And this one, simply titled Try Dem Best. Fabian. We know them no like me. Babylon a disrespect me Always a contest me Them a try their best to control me Whoa. But man a veteran I get catch up in a them contention Cause me no Babylon intention Me wise about for them program, program Cause to divide and rule It's their only plan, only plan Capture the youth in school much education cause to divide and rule is their only plan only plan capture the youths in school pay much education they might try their best they can't come in with all type of lies and philosophy I run up and down with them story but we life in the hands of the almighty they might try their best they can't go away with all type of lies and philosophy. I run up and down with them story, but we life in the hands of the Almighty. Watch out, them a flex and watch out, them a try. I put talk to me and can't look in at me eye. Yeah, them a spread rumors and go tell lie. None of them no one see the rust get a blight. Read them like book, we know say them shy. One say we drop a drop down and cry, but the vibes we carry could and never, never die. So make we stand up and hold we head high. They don't like we. Babylon a disrespect we. Always a contest we. Them a try them best we can troll we, troll we. But born a veteran a get catch up in a them contention. Cause we know Babylon intention. Be wise about for them program, program. Cause to divide and rule is their only plan, only plan. Capture the youth in school, bring much education. Cause to divide and rule is their only plan, only plan. Capture the youth in school, bring much education. 
Sometimes me feel like me dip on the bottom of the pile At the end of a long single file But with a whole heap of inspiration and truth We make me go that one extra mile Self-belief and interest we make me progress Destroy the pressure, demand the duress Don't make no friend, enemy, make me get vexed Now get catch up in all them Babylon flex All them I try make Rasta man stress Me have to make sure that me get where me forget But no friend, enemy, and put them to rest Put them to rest, oh yes Me know them no like me Babylon no disrespect me Always a contest me they might try their best to control me, troll me. But man, a veteran, I get catch up in a them contention. Cause me know Babylon intention. Me wise up out for them program, program. Cause to divide and rule is their only plan, only plan. Capture the youth in school. Pay much education, education. together on seclosounds.org Your listening station When them tune up, play people tend for run and dance and ball out, boy, just tell them one thing Well, I'm Jonas, uh, so I sing for Dubwise and play a few other things and there's five of us in the band and we're half the band's from Oxford and half the band's from London <laughs> Fantastic. As I say, we've been here most of the afternoon. It's been cloudy and all that kind of stuff. Mm. You come on stage halfway through your set, the sun comes out, pure sunshine tunes. That's mm. got to feel good. It happens every time. <laughs> Fantastic. That's it. We'll follow Dubweiser for the yeah, sun yeah, tans. Yeah, then. yeah. Um, I noticed as well in your set there was lots of influences there um, and all that kind of stuff. What are your main influences well, in your music? You know what? As if, you, if you're presumptuous enough to say that, I'd love to hear what you thought the influences were. I, well, definitely uh, Scratch Perry. That was definitely there, the kind of the rhythms from that kind of stuff. There was a lot, kind of some... There we go. Um, there was uh, a bit of upsetters. Obviously, you said that anyway, but the kind of the vibe, the jump up, the hot stepper kind of vibe there as well. Mm-hmm. And absolutely fantastic. And the thing that I love from you as well, you was on the vocals, went to the trombone, goosebumps all the time. Okay, well, well done. You've done your research. You're a man who knows <laughs> reggae music. Yeah, so... The drummer, Spider Johnson, he's like a very well-known producer in London and he plays everything, but he plays drums with us. And he used to be the band leader for Lee Perry, so that's where that influence comes from. We've played with him, the Dubwise has played with Lee Perry many, many times. So, yeah, there's a lot of influence there. Spider was also trained originally by Peter Tosh, so we've got some of that in. And as you can hear, yeah, we like to take people on a bit of a journey. We don't, you know, we want to let people access all different kinds of reggae but more to the point all different kinds of music you know um sometimes nowadays reggae can get a little bit too narrow yeah yeah (laughs) and i like to broaden out absolutely and you were there with your your points about africa and obviously the israel and all that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. is there any tunes in the pipeline that you've got with that kind of uh, influences coming out yeah well we've got two things that we do is dubwise of the band we've got an album out called a crack in paradise um, and then we also have Dubwise a dancehall, which is like an imprint. So we use that to really um, highlight new talents, you know, young talent, people in this country and from other places as well. So we brought out Dubwise a dancehall EP mm, a little while back, and we've got another one coming out soon, which is going to be really hefty dub. A hefty dub. And that's what we like. That's when I say like. EP, it might be quite a few tracks in the end, but with a lot of guest artists. We like to feature people. Um, but as far as dubwise of the band's concerned, we didn't play it tonight, but we've got a new tune which we've recorded already, and if somebody comes forward, we'll release it. It's called Rudy's Resurrection. Right, you hit it. <laughs> heard it here first, Seclo Sounds. If you hear it out there, it all came from here. Okay, so what about, obviously, your music tastes and stuff like that? What was the last kind of tune that you bought yourself? The last tune I bought myself? That's a good question. Go. I used to be a DJ some years ago, so I won't go back that far. The last tune I bought myself was, was Jar 9. Janine yeah. Cunningham, yeah. Fantastic, mm-hmm. lovely. And what about if you was stuck on an island? I say this to everyone, everyone that's featured on my show, if they've ever been stuck on an island and they can take three tunes with them. It's on Desert Island Disc is eight. Okay, no, just three. <laughs> just three, three tunes. All what right. would them three be? I'd take Row Fisherman Row, because okay. it's about the sea. Yep. I'd take something by Curtis Mayfield. 
you name your tune, really. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, people get ready, maybe. There's so many options there. Maybe We People Who Are Darker Than Blue is what I'd take okay. by Curtis. Yep. And then I guess, obviously, the last one would be Bob. And again... Bob always features. Your pick. Out of yeah. one of the three, everyone always picks a Bob tune. Today, yep. you know, today I'll say... I work for my pay, night and day, and if it's all right... It's got to be all night, got to be all right. I'll take that one. Fantastic. Lovely. Well, nice to meet you. And as I say, we'll hook up in the future. Fantastic. Lovely. One love to everyone. Excellent. Yes, yes. So the next track is by a Dubwiser off a crack in paradise. And this one is called Bye Bye. Girl, how could you get by in this world without a little bit of direction? Out of my mind, you're stretching out from the inside. You say it's time, I like I won't mind. You want to swim in wild water, you want to get to where you're at. The, but when the bomb drops, I will go first. And I call you on a telephone from another world, and you say hi. Yes, well, my emails and uh, Twitter have been going mental. Salutes to you, Robbie Valentine. Your bits come up later, don't worry. And all of the Govy, Governor, Tiggy crew, Fiona, blessings to you. It's absolutely been fantastic response. Christine Holden as well. Happy 21st birthday for tomorrow. This one, absolute tune. Empress, Imani, System Down. And I'll tell you why soon. Is it possible that you could be that one little Evolve your mind and don't get tricked Cause it's easy to switch Yes it is Choose a side and take your pick We're going revolution more real quick Because we're ready to do this Mash this system down We are going to mash this system down To the ground Take back our right for ground Mash this system down To the ground Ground, ground, ground down to the ground Disconnected from the cut Skills 
What an absolute vocalist. I manifestation, reap righteous devastation over concrete jungles and plantation, burning the illusions of peace and oppression. So this is Empress Amani from the Royal Sounds. Got an interview of Royal Sounds coming up in a minute. I had to play a couple of her tu- their tunes, sorry. So many vocalists, one had to miss out as well, but uh, I'm sure I'll play other tunes from them on future shows. Yes, bless up Seclo Sound. We are the Royal Sounds. My name's Ajani, I'm the bass player in the band. My name's Empress Imani on the vocals. Bless up, this Carla Lou One Drop on the drums. Yeah, Jassy Crosdale on the guitar. I'm Ashanti Sila, I'm the keyboardist in the band. And it's Russ Semp, I'm one of the vocalists. Yes, greetings, sir. Uh, this is Hannibal, our artist. Fantastic. Okay, so that's it. That's who the band are. Obviously, Royal Sounds. Just heard you on the main stage. Pure Roots. Absolutely love it. Great vibe. Got everyone moving, and the crowd built as well throughout it. Obviously, it's still quite fairly early in the day. Everyone's waiting for obviously John Hole later on. But you're building it. You got there, and the, the, the vibes were good. Okay, so who are your influences? Obviously, your vocalist. You were there singing beautifully. So who who influences you? Um, for me. Probably Lauren Hill, um, it's like Erica Badu, India Ari, you know, females that are just representing um, that positive kind of vibe, really. Okay, and what about the last music that you bought? When was the last time you put some money, your hands, in your pocket, pull out some <laughs> and bought something? Um, actually, I like to support underground artists, so I bought um, um, a sister that raps in London. I bought her CD and supported her. Fantastic, keeping it real, that's all good. Okay, so obviously you're there, you're on the drums and all that kind of stuff. Any influences there, kind of? Carlton Barrett and Sly and Robbie and, you know, them old-time 70s vibes. That's where I'm coming from, 70s time, you know. Sometimes I feel that's my time. I shouldn't be here in the 70s. But, yeah, that's my vibe. I've been speaking to a lot of people out, obviously customers as well, and it always comes back to the 70s. The rhythms that are there are all being kind of reincarnated and brought back today as well and all that kind of stuff. So what about your influences? What, you, what, you, what do you listen to? If, I, if you went driving now, now, what would be in the, on the car stereo? Uh, just any reggae song, really, but it's got to be the roots, the, the heart of cool reggae. Right? Okay. <laughs> and my main influence is Ernest Wrangling from Jamaica, a guitar player. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Also Gina from The Whalers as well. Fantastic. Are you looking? Who are you looking forward to? to are you around for the rest of the weekend? Who are you looking forward to seeing? Uh, yeah, we definitely want to see John Hall. It was good to be on the same kind of stage as them as well. So yeah, exactly. That that stage, they're right there, is where they'll be later on as well, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Obviously, vocalist. You, were, I saw you out there. You, you were in the moment. You said to yourself, you forgot about the crowd. You were absolutely you nailed it. Absolutely. Kind of. Where, where does that come from? It was fantastic. There, yeah, where it comes from within, you know. That's all I can say. It was very nice. I was cold. When I got on stage, I was warm. You know? <laughs> you, you move. You definitely move and jump yeah. around. It's fantastic. Okay, yeah. cool. What about the, obviously, the crowd? What were they like? The crowd? Yeah, I could sense the crowd. When I, when I got on stage, I, I liked the crowd. It's like, it wasn't really, because I, I knew it wasn't expected. That's, that's, that's the plan. I wanted to do something that they're not expecting. When I did that, I felt the vibes go up. As soon as they threw their hands up, it's like they just threw it up. It threw the energy up, you know? And I felt it. So that's when I knew the crowd got into it. I know they liked it, and I'm glad they liked it. No, they definitely liked it. I could see it on their faces. And I know Mystic Crew are on, not one, but before, and they said to me, You've got, I've got to look out for you guys. So, obviously, that's why I was here and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so you're there, giving it the, uh, the tones in there. What were your influences? My influences, boy, well, I've, I grew up on listening to Sizzler. You know, like, um, I've listened to Jack Hill. You know, them, them kind of artists there with sweet voice, you know. That's what I'm trying to, you know, not all imitate, but we just appreciate and just push, you know, positive vibrations and stuff, you know. So it was nice. I like I the vibes. I enjoyed it with my people and my family, you know. 
Fantastic. Obviously, you might be able to hear the winds picking up a little bit. Um, I know the, the back of the stage came off at some point. Oh, no, no. It was after you'd finished, so it weren't too bad. They were putting that back together again. OK, so it comes to the, the man on the end here. And that. So what kind of tunes are you listening to at the moment? Oh, I listen to, like, all sort of roots music, really. Um, my dad, who is Abba Shanti, and my uncle is Blood Shanti. I listen to their music loads and... You know, they're my biggest inspirations, really. So it definitely is a one family. Yeah. Like, my family is musical and I've had reggae pumped since young age. Pedigree, good pedigree, as they say. Yeah. Fantastic. What about what are the future plans then for, for Royal Sounds? Yeah, we've just been doing a lot of recording, so a lot of tunes are going to be coming out soon. End of next year, next year, we're going to put together a CD with all the artists so everyone can hear it. Planning next year, hopefully get on some tours, more shows, just more good vibes and more good music. Fantastic. Well, that, that, that's it from me. Just like to say, well done. Absolutely nailed it out there, and it was a great Route 5, and it was fantastic. So, Seclo Sounds listeners, that was Royal Sounds, okay? Check them out, find them, download them, Facebook and... Facebook, Facebook you go on Royal Sounds official. Um, you can even go on Instagram, Royal Sounds. You know, check it out. Just Google us, Google us. Yeah, that's it. Track them down in the search engines because it's a true sound. You won't be disappointed. Thanks. Bless. Sound of it, Yes, yes, so this is the sounds of the Royal Sounds. This one with Hannibal on the vocals, and this is the guy that absolutely lost it on the moment on the main stage. This tune I absolutely love. The one that they got stoned like a bunch of clay pigeons We are the X-Men, the one for extinguish You can see the one for what it is when I want two and three You blind if you think the world looks so pretty The one that they got stoned like a bunch of clay pigeons We are the X-Men, the one for extinguish You can see the one for what it is when I want two and three You blind if you think the world looks so pretty Stopping us from meditate, putting factory in the brain. They love the physical world to get the spiritual world because it's putting factory in the brain. An unstoppable message coming from Jack. Exodus, we're going back to Africa. And Babylon, they them like Dracula. Love, blood, shit, they them love murder. But we need to get together, make them go no further. we gonna give them a sound that they We are the X-Men, them one for extinguish I see the world for what it is from my eye, one, two, and three You blind if you think the world looks so pretty The one for take us down like a bunch of clay pigeons We are the X-Men, them one for extinguish I see the world for what it is from my eye, one, two, and three You blind if you think the world looks so pretty My people, why are we acting unequal? Hi, this is Georgie B from the Groove Association, and you're listening to the main man down home, dropping down some wicked reggae tune right here on Seclo Sounds Radio. Yes, yes, absolute pure vibes. 
This one, of course, the Royal Sounds. Yes, yes, absolutely love that one. Yes, yes, this one from the Mystic Crew. We've got some words from them coming up. stage here on the Saturday at One Love. Absolutely brought fire and energy uh, to the set. The uh, crowd grew and grew over and over. Um, first of all, I'm going to go around. I've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six members. And I think I've got a photographer as well. So I'm being filmed interviewing. This is fantastic. Okay, so we're going to go around, just get some name checks. Tell me who you are in the band, what you do. And then we'll go around and get some people's influences and stuff like that. Uh, I'm Phonix. Um, I'm all rounder, basically. Bass, keyboard, guitar, whatever. I'm like the utility man. I fit in wherever. Fantastic. Yeah, my name is Robert Valentine, uh, bass player, singer of Mystic Crew. My name is Tim Peterkin, backing vocals and keyboards. I'm a White Dave, 
and I'm their sound engineer, I've got an envious job, and when it goes wrong, I always get the blame. Well, I only do one thing, I only play keyboard. Simple, nice and simple. Yeah, I'm um, Hustle Dandemite. Um, I'm a recording artist, started with Mystic Crew back in 98, then I kind of soloed off and done my own career, Jet Troopers, and 2014 I'm back here with Mystic Crew as an artist, so it's a, it's a joy. Safe, safe. Right, okay, so obviously I heard your sound there today, it seems like there's lots of influences. What's influenced you in the time putting the tunes together and stuff like that? What did you grow up with? What are your favourite vibes that you're listening to? Well, basically, um, we're influenced by a lot of um, the, the, the pioneers of the reggae music, uh, People like Peter Touch, Bob Marley, the usual, but also, but also Scar, Rocksteady, even some pop music, R&B, uh, and also anything that goes on in the street, in the world, we write about it, we sing about it, yeah? Okay, and what about the last tunes? I'm going to go you and you, the last tunes that you bought yourself, okay? So not the stuff that you've listened to, the stuff you've actually gone out and bought. Last, last tune I bought? Wow, that's a good one. Oh, the last thing I bought was actually a CD and DVD package, um, the Studio One Story, yeah, yeah. came out as CD and DVD, but that was the last one I bought. That. Okay. Every collection has to have some Studio One in, so you're good with that. What about you? Second, I didn't get the question, okay, sorry. Yeah, the, the, the band are the two noisy on there, aren't they? Um, just the, the last uh, tune that you bought yourself, either iTunes, download, CD. Okay. Um, well, personally I haven't bought a record for quite some time. Because I usually get them. Yeah, this is good. So the last one you bought, how far um, we got to go back? Um, probably about 2005. Um, and it was Elephant Man Log On. Okay, dance all fire. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay. So what kind of other influence? What do you do? Obviously, you're in the band and that kind of stuff. What, what kind of you do to relax, chill, places you like to visit and stuff like that? Uh, gosh, that's a place I like to visit. Yeah. Well... Anywhere that, where the sun shines, you know what I mean? And I have to say, when you started playing as well, the sun came out. Absolutely, the sun came out. You stepped up the vibe, the positive vibrations were there, and the sun came out, you see? Absolutely fantastic. Okay, what about if you was on a desert island, okay, for the rest of the time, and you could take three tunes, not one you've done yourself, okay, no bigging up of that, yeah? Three tunes from past, present, or whatever, what would you take with you? Um, Bob Miley would have to be one. Can, can I just say, Bob Marley is one... Everyone says Bob Marley in the freeze, so that's good. Which one? Probably a song called Wisdom. is one of his early songs. Yeah, Bob Marley and the Whalers. I'll be one of them. Um, second one, Robbie Valentine's Nobody But Ja. Yeah, influential song. And third song, would I be with a lady on this island or would I be, would I be on my own? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. All right, but if I was with a lady, probably Mary J. Blige, everything. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, so I'll just get it correct as well. I know that uh, some of you are from London, some of you are from Northampton. Is that correct? Is that right? Uh, yeah, well, I'm a Northamptonian, proud to be a Northamptonian, but a British Jamaican as well. Um, the question you had before, the tune I would bring would be um, something like... Um, Simmer Down by Bob Marley and also out of the box one Bobby McFerrin Be Happy yes 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 there was no kind of didn't have to be reggae did it or anything like that so we've got all that there fantastic okay so that's it that was the Mystic Crew they absolutely tore up the main stage here opening on the Saturday and there we go thanks to all of you for taking part here today and we're, you're going to hear some tunes we're going to play some tunes here on Seclo Sound Sound of It's time for loving Baby, get ready Get ready It's time for love Baby, get ready It's time for love For so long, baby girl You've had me on a string And when I need some love You won't give me a thing What have I got to do? The urge is getting strong Hurry up, my dear Cause I can't wait too long Baby, get ready It's time for love Baby, get ready 
get ready. I said it's time for love. Remember how it felt when love was so brand new. You couldn't get enough of me. I couldn't get enough of you. Now what's the matter, girl? Don't you need me anymore? I'm sick of this frustration. Your loving needs the cure. Baby, get ready. I said it's time for love. Baby, get ready. I said it's time for love. Yeah, so that is Mystic Crew. What a sound. Big salutes as well to all of Mystic Crew. Um, Robbie Valentine as well. I know you're lo- locked in tonight uh, via Twitter. Salutes to you. And uh, for the rest of uh, Mystic Crew, if any of you are worrying um, if Robbie's kind of gone mad talking about having a conversation with Bunny Lee to his left and Cornell Campbell to his right, he is 100% true. <laughs> it happened. Don't worry about that. And with you being so close to me and Milton Kings, I'm sure we'll hook up at a gig very, very soon. And I love this rhythm. Absolutely love this rhythm. So good, I had to extend it. Love it. Yes, yes, love that one. So that was Mystic Crew. together on seclosounds.org So we go from Robbie Valentine to now Randy Valentine the Valentines in the house Listen to me when I say 
family and strong Chaddle with the powers of a real rust I have been to deals to all a meditation This is why me dash a fire upon everything wrong Oh, I know like say me a free man But from one year you may not like when them a free man They wanna study rape and murder They must study demon But when the fire dash All of them a fig go flee man Oh, one day the tables will turn them a go feel them a go learn in a day I'm a giddy and stand firm Just be pure in a yourself and carry on with all the works Yeah, them a go get what they deserve You don't see a child in a no church Cause when the most I jot in return Get the youths a go fly like a bird And them a go shout fit train When the fire start dash Babylon a go get burned down to us You can't trick me with your system With your gold and cash Cause we sold it worth more than that Yeah, brother So when me know this week some artists is like Jaja give them a message and them lost it I don't know you My God! My God! Okay, so I'm joined uh, backstage now with the legend in the making that is Randy Valentine. What a set. What's it like to be at One Love? Man, it's an amazing experience. I'm still shocked. I'm still overwhelmed. I'm still overly happy, you know? I'm extremely excited about wherever it's going to come. For right now, I am very happy. Absolutely. I say the crowd out there are absolutely loving it. It built, it grew, yeah, and the energy was positive all the way. All the way through. It's all about positive vibrations. That's what I'm trying to promote. Randy Valentine is always love. Okay, I was talking to someone last night and knowing that you'd be here today and we were having a bit of a kind of conversation about if there was one person in the world at the moment, if you created a rhythm, who would, he, who would you give it to? My answer was yourself, sir, okay? Because I've, I've heard you spit over loads of different, yeah, yeah, loads yeah. Of different rhythms and each one gets played on my show, easy as that, okay? Where does it come from? I don't know, I don't know. I, it's music, I just say exactly what I'm thinking or how I feel and I guess it sounds nice, you know? It's inspiration for me coming from my family my daily experiences from my spiritual experiences and that I put that into music you know if I've been hurt I will put it into music anything that happens to me I put it in a song I say I've heard that all the time and yeah. it touches you, yeah, you man, e- every song you put together you can hear yeah, roots that come into it. it it's genuinely real like even the last song I just performed Carry On <laughs> normally I think there's only once I perform this song and I haven't cried at the end of the song because it's too real and I'm so by the end of the show, I'm so with the people, I'm so connected with the people in the crowd. It's kind of hard not to get you know, overly emotional. So is this a new genre, raw reggae or something like that? It's yeah, been great. I have to create that. So you're going to create one rhythm for me and it's going to be called raw reggae. Okay, there we go. We'll do that. Don't worry, we'll hook up and we'll do that. Okay, what about you mentioned there a bit about inspirations being your family. What about the, the people, reggae artists that you're listening reggae to? Artists. I listen to so many different reggae artists from Lucky the Bay from South Africa, from Sizzla, from Luki D, from Luki D, Barry Salmon, Sanchez. Everybody, I grew up in a sound system, so I, I grew up listening to every. Even yesterday, I missed the wedding souls, and I wanted to be here to just witness that. I've never witnessed that burning spear, you know. I, I can say one of my personal favourites are the Wailing Souls and I've got an interview uh, that is absesolutely fantastic with my listeners yeah I interviewed him yesterday so you're now you say you're with the same guy that's interviewed the Wailing Souls so it's all good <laughs> that's it that's all I get to say but it's cool <laughs> but they're going to be in London so I put, hopefully I get to meet them but I really wanted to see them you know for the, for the past like three weeks I've been listening to Wailing Souls every day okay yes. well if in London maybe we'll hook up and go down there because I say inspirations for me them guys as well so it's good to have the same thing there okay what about plans for the future what have you got in the pipeline um, right now I'm Working on a new EP with my professor, you know my professor yeah, yeah, from Awiwa. Yeah, yeah. Working on that, and then we got new singles coming up. We got still shooting video from the Break the Chain EP, shooting Carry On in um in Ghana, and we're gonna go to Jamaica at the end of the year. We got a West Coast tour coming up in October. We got Japan for next year. We got yeah, lots of works, lots of movement, and right now we're finishing the last stretch of the European tour. I'm gonna be in Serbia, I think, in two weeks. I've never been there before, but it should okay. be good. Yeah. Okay, and you mentioned a, a trip to Jamaica. Is it, yeah. is it all work or is there pleasure as well? Pleasure and work. My grandmother, I've seen my grandmother since I left Jamaica in 2003. And she phoned me and she, she always cuts me on the on So I, I need to go see my grandmother full stop. And then I need to go and just, you know, do some music. Visit the grandmother, have some home cooked, yeah? I have some more food. She needs to cook me some food. Some real, real yard fried dumpling, you know, some real food. And she's going to start me up some food. She said that. So I'm waiting for that. That's it, perfect. Yeah. Worth the flight itself, yeah? Flight, 100%, you know? Okay. Yeah. okay, respect. Okay, salute to you, Randy Valentine. There we go, Randy Valentine on Seclo Sounds Radio.
That one, Randy Valentine, the penthouse rhythm, lock me up. Yes, yes, this one by Hustler Dundee Might. You might have heard him with the Mystic crew as well. He's an artist in his own right. This one pairing up with his brother, Governor Tiggy. And we're going to come to him and DJ Vadim very soon. You know this one. Sing it! While we are stand up on the corner Watching everything with me two eyes We are gone And can't believe that this is England And they might dip on the corner Watching everything with me two eyes where you go on And can't believe say this is England Come and say some of blame the police Why some of blame the youths Some of blame the parents till them house Them all are lost Police are shoot and kill you Them why them they out and load are loose This no look promising for the future But for the younger generation No slad and they have to fly the flag And me no want to see no more youth Like them in a body bag England used to be so safe You could have called police But now we don't know who worse are out of the police And the thief and all I see is while we are stand up on the corner, watching everything with me two eyes where you go on, and can't believe that this is England. Police and police in the street, hustler than them 
right there on the corner Watching everything with me two eyes where you go on And can't believe said this is uh, England Cause in the fifties, we get the ring rush generation Cause the say England was the place with gold pavements As them land, them send back letter home With arrangements for work and send money for build them house and apartments some did get the bus, but no, never make it home. Them dead as just can 50 years, them slave tongue in a row. But big up the rest of them, we use it as a stepping stone. We repatriate to the land which part the king sit on the throne in Mama Africa. While we are stand up on the corner, watching everything with with two eyes where you go on. And can't believe so this is uh, England. Take it on the corner, watching everything with big two eyes where you go on. Can't believe said this is England. You know the get to what a big crisis. The way time gets so rough, we start get worried. Man a rap and man a kill and man a turn fugitive. Woman a man gun them a breed and them a look place we live. The youth them a advance before fit them time. Corruptive system make them pan them mind. Can't find a dime, them rum gun jungle crime. Aye, for them when I think it's in the side. Then Yes, yes, so as I mentioned, this one, uh, Hustler, Dandy Might, featuring Governor Tiggy. This one, Police and Thieves, a 2014 rework. It has to be said that Governor Tiggy must have been one of the hardest working people at the festival. Um, Everywhere I looked, every stage, every tent, he was on doing something absolutely pure fire. While we are stand up on the corner Watching everything with, with two eyes where you go on Can't believe so this is uh, England Hustler than and governor to keep on the corner Watching everything with, with two eyes where you go on And can't believe so this is uh, England <laughs> Out the okay, so I'm backstage now with uh, Governor Tiggy. He's just come off stage with uh, DJ, DJ of Adam, even. An absolute fantastic wicked sound. Um, so what's it like to be at uh, One Love Festival, then? I mean, it's beautiful, man. It's my first time here in performance. It's my first time to a One Love Festival, and the crowd was really spontaneous and full of energy. It's a beautiful occasion, you know? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. The energy's been it's been steady all night, but you can say you guys come on the sounds of DJ Vadim and it really lifted. Okay, so what are your inspirations in music? Who do you listen to? So you're not here, you're not performing, you're driving down the highway on the road. What, what's what's on the uh, car stereo? DJ Vadim. <laughs> Is that because he's sat next to you? No, for real, DJ Vadim's in my car stereo, you know? I, I can say it's me. Dub Catch is in my car stereo oh, at the moment right, as well, yeah. so it's all good. It's all good vibes. Okay, um, what about the last tune? Not not DJ Vadim, but the last tune that you bought. Whether it was iTunes, the vinyl, or whatever. The last tune that you bought. I mean, I like... I like old school, like, you know, the Bob Marley, the 70s and the 80s. And you have new artists, like, of 2000s now, like Chronix and, and Protégé. You know, you, you know, Damien Marley. We like, I like the roots, you know, because you have to do music with a lot of essence and, and a lot of emotional, strong spiritual feeling that tends to move the people a lot more than just doing a tune for sake of doing a tune, you know. A tune with meaning and, and, and purpose gives direction, you know, and it's very important that we bring these messages across so I appreciate the songs like that you know and artists who portray their self and their, and their songs that, that way you know for real for real okay so we're going to bring in DJ Vadim the man on the buttons that they say and all that kind of stuff obviously Dubcatcher is catching the whole of the UK and world alight at the moment what are your inspirations what do you listen to when you're, when you're relaxing and just thinking of something else other than uh, DJ Vadim and Dubcatcher at the moment I mean I listen to all kinds of music I love good music good vibration and the most important thing is for me is positivity um, I like I like music of a message and music to uplift the heart and soul. So yeah, I listen to of course I listen to roots reggae all the way back from people like John Holt and the Scatlites who are playing here to Beres Hammond, the Cool Ruler, 
Gregory Isaacs, Dennis Brown, to, to the new school. You said, who did you discover recently? Well, last week I did a show in France, and I did a show on stage, came a, a young guy, I never heard of him, and he is wicked, and he's going to be the next star, and his name is Daniel Bambata Mali, and he's the son of Ziggy Mali. This is the third generation Mali, and he's got a big voice, a big message, and obviously the Mali name to his uh, stature, and he's this year, well maybe not this year, but next year you're going to see him come through. In the same way that Chronics came through last year, and this year he's going to be the next artist through. And he's got a good sound, positive message, so I'm always looking out for people, and Tiggy today brought some people. What's, what's the guy's name from Holland? Yeah, but Juna Kenna, he's a young artist from Holland, he's like a teenager over Holland, he's a rising star. He invited me to tour with him, and I've invited him over here for the One Love Festival. You know, he's a very promising act. Look out, look out for him. Junior Kenner, also Hustler Dandy, my is the next artist, my younger brother. You know, he's very hot right now in England. So just look out for these artists. We're, we're bringing through artists for the future as well, very much. You know, that's, that's really important to bring like the new blood, new voices for the new generation, not just to like big up myself. You know, it's cool. Of course, I love doing what I'm doing, but also to bring the next generation of people to keep the music going forward because I can only do this for so long you need new blood new legs also to, to keep moving forward absolutely it's like with the dub catcher you kind of feature loads and loads of different artists bringing their different flavours to every single song um, I, I think overall I must have played every tune on the uh, on the album I know one that my listeners really love is Consignment absolutely fantastic when that drops on the show they absolutely love it and obviously with you sat next to me you're nodding your head that one of your ones yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Lovely, fantastic. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, and okay, and good. you heard all them names and all the people in the future here on Seclo Sounds. Fantastic. My God, my God. <laughs> yes, yes. This one, DJ Vadim featuring Governor Tiggy, and this one, Sweet Like a Lolly. You won't get this rhythm out of your head. Trust me. Really, I love you so. Yes, yes, so as I mentioned, that one, DJ Vadim featuring Governor Tiggy. Well, I'm coming to the end of the uh, two-hour show. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? 
Once again, I'd just like to thank everyone that uh, I bumped into over the weekend. Absolute salutes to each and every one of you. Personal blessings to all the careers that you go on to, the fans that you make, and the festivals and clubs that you play in. Yes, yes, I couldn't finish the show without playing a bit of Bob himself, and why not? One Love, this this has been the One Love Festival special, with, uh, connections with Seclo Sounds and my show, The Reggae Takeover. As I said before, I hope you enjoyed it, and once again, thanks to all the legends and all the people that helped me out over the weekend. Full weekend, unlike some of them other stations out there. <laughs> So once again, thank you. Same time next week, 9 o'clock. And these replays will go up onto Mixcloud at www.mixcloud.com forward slash DJ Darren Hoyle. I'll do that Saturday morning. I won't do it. I'll do it Friday, actually, because I'm away yet again at another festival. What a life! So as I said at the top of the show, I hope I did the... Uh, the interviews just did the music justice as well. As I say, I've got loads of CDs and loads of vinyls from the weekend as well. So my listeners over the next few weeks will get to hear a few more tracks from the albums. So don't worry about that. It's all about putting the roots back into reggae music. So once again, thank you. Peace out. I have been DJ Darren High. I salute you. MK Pulse proudly sponsors Seclo Sounds. MK Pulse is Milton Keynes' local magazine, bringing helpful information on food, health, fashion, money, travel, culture, and much more to 66,000 readers every month. Plus news, views, and what's on from around the city. If it's happening in Milton Keynes, it's in MK Pulse. And it's available online at www.mkpulse.co.uk. MK Pulse and Seclo Sounds, the heart and soul of the city.